Right then everyone, this is um, all that black stuff you can see down there is slag where they used to have to have big furnaces um, to get the lead out. I've done all this before so I'm not doing I'm not saying a lot now but I'm walking down now into um, velvet bottom which was um, it's got lot it's got Roman remains in all these fields there's humpy bumpy Roman remains there's old mines that are concealed and covered some are some aren't there's the remnants of the smelting or whatever you want to call it the furnaces there's even the tunnel, tunnel furnaces still exist anyway I've come down from up right up there where the um, wireless station is I've walked along a track all the way across the Mendips from there down a country lane I haven't videoed every single part of this I've just got over that stile I'm coming through a cow free field um, they don't tend to have animals in these fields because they're still though I can see some shit you could eat lead ridden sheep actually if you buy local because <coughs> these fields are soaked with lead remnants and the archaeologists apparently a few years back oh, this is what someone told me had to stop digging because they were getting lead poisoning um, miners from Roebarrow, Shipham and round here got brain damage from lead poisoning um, they actually went mad and the local Mendip hospital a lot of a large part of its early populations back in the Victorian age were men with madness through lead damage and cider of course around here but um, it did um, cause a lot of damage yeah and the animals got infected by it it gets it's an accumulative thing it gets into the food chain so like I said I've learnt a few things about this place so coming here now and again probably ain't too bad the trees seem to be thriving on lead don't they and you've got some good examples of lovely Somerset walling here really good walling look at that an art isn't it like I said I've done detailed videos probably on, I don't know if it's with this camera but I have been down here videoing and I've been all around the spoil heaps there's a little nature reserve you can walk around and this little device here by the way if no one knows it lifts up and it lets your dog through See? Somebody think, thinks of everything in the countryside, don't they? And if you're into going on a bear walk, you follow the Buckcombe signs. But we're now entering the slag heap areas. This is also potholing country. Like I say, a lot of them are, are locked. Um, people have been known to die in potholes. Fortunately, it's not very boggy. I think in the winter this could be a different ball game coming down here. See, someone's left a wrapper. Look. It could be very muddy. There's a little plank. A little bridge. Look. A little footbridge. With a little stream. A little lead stream running. I've got a favourite tree further up when we go as well. An oak tree that looks very desolate in the winter but it's probably looking beautiful now um, I'll take a picture of that nearer but here's some of the slag and there's loads of it see and there's an actual walk through a little there's a little nature reserve that you can walk around here as well there's a little nature reserve And you'll get all sorts of birds when people come to take pictures of the, the wildlife. It's beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful. 
beautiful. Right, overnight for a minute, I'll do another one in a